So we're here today to address the humanitarian and security crisis on our southern border. And we're going to take care of it. Now, the easy solution is for me to call a national emergency. I could do that very quickly. I have the absolute right to do it. But I'm not going to do it so fast, because this is something Congress should do. And we're waiting for the Democrats to vote. They should come back and vote. They want to go home. They're probably home by now. And Nancy and Chuck and all of the folks that could settle this thing in 15 minutes, I used to say 45 minutes. Now I say 15 minutes. It's so simple. We need money for a barrier. If we don't have a barrier, we're just wasting all of the other money. There's no technology that's any good. I think you'd say that. You know that probably better than anybody, most of you guys. You know, without the barrier, you don't have security. Without the barrier, you have people driving in loaded up with drugs, with smuggled people, with all sorts of things that you don't want to know about. So we need a barrier. It's a very simple meeting. We could also do a much more major form of uh, immigration reform. And I'd look forward to doing that, along with many of the people at the table, including our Vice President. And we look very much forward to moving on that. But first, we have to get a barrier, because it all doesn't work without protection. It's common sense, folks. Everyone knows it works. Everyone knows it's not expensive. They say it's medieval. Well, so is the wheel medieval. I looked at all the vans and all of the serious equipment that they surrounded me with yesterday. The Secret Service, the police, the Border Patrol, ICE. Every one of those had the wheel. Well, they say wheels are medieval, too. But some things don't change. Wheels and walls. And they haven't found an alternative to either of those two, right? They haven't found an alternative. So we want Congress to do its job. We want the Democrats to come back and vote, wherever they may be. I haven't left the White House except to go to Iraq for a very short period of time, where I had a great experience, frankly. I've met some great people, some great generals. We have great ideas having to do with Syria. It's working out very well knocking the hell out of ISIS, and we're bringing our folks back home, and we're going to always have a presence. And it's working out very well. A lot of things are working out well. North Korea is working out very well. A lot of things are working out well, but the southern border is something that should be easy. So what we're not looking to do right now is national emergency. What we want to do, we have the absolute right to do it. In many ways, it's the easy way out. But this is up to Congress, and it should be up to Congress, and they should do it. And if they can't do it, if they yell that we can't do it, there's no way we can vote for security. There's no way we can vote for safety. All Nancy and Chuck have to do is tell me. And you know what? We'll start thinking about another alternative. But this is one of the easy votes they'll ever have. It's very simple. And then we go on to major reform on immigration. And I look forward to that, because after 50 years of talking about it, they should have done it. 